What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm gonna quickly show you how to create a bootable macOS Mojave USB drive so you can actually install a fresh new macOS Mojave software into your MacBook device. This is very useful in situations where you have a MacBook without any operating system like if your software has recently corrupted or if you've completely formatted your SSD or hard disk. This is the only option you have as a recovery way to reinstall it from a USB pen drive and I'll quickly show you how to do it in this video. Hey my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues so if you're into tech content consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Now moving into today's video, in today's video you're gonna need a USB pen drive with at least 16 gigabytes of storage in order for this to work. And also you're gonna need a MacBook which actually is working fine, okay? Because we need to download the operating system, load it into our disk, and we need to do this while having an operating MacBook, okay? So you're gonna need, for example, if your main MacBook that you wanna fix doesn't work, you're gonna need a second one aside in order to perform all this, create the disk, and then simply connect it into the MacBook that is not working. Now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So over here, once we are in our MacBook, the very first thing we're gonna be doing is actually hopping straight into this web page in here. And do not worry, the link to this web page is in the description box below. So this is the official Apple's website from where we're gonna be downloading the macOS operating system. So in our case, since we want to download macOS Mojave, we're going to scroll down all the way to use the App Store heading. And once you see this below use the App Store heading, you'll be able to see in here macOS Mojave. Okay, so simply tap once on macOS Mojave and then tap on open App Store. Next up, you'll be brought to this web page in here inside the App Store itself from where we're going to be downloading macOS Mojave. What you need to do next is simply tap here on get okay and then a new window will pop up in here asking whether you want to download macOS Mojave or not as you can see we've got in here macOS Mojave are you sure you want to download macOS Mojave 10.14.6 which is the latest version of macOS Mojave, simply tap on download and the download will start in a few minutes. Now the download duration depends on your internet speed. If you've got a really fast internet, it will take you a few minutes, but if you have a much slower one, it may take you half an hour or, and even in some cases, an hour. Okay, so all you need to do now is just sit back, relax, and wait till the download process gets completed. Here we go, the download is almost complete and now it's actually getting done with the last steps in here in order to get our software ready to be installed. Okay, so here we go, this copy of the install macOS application is too old to be open to this version. Do not worry, this is because my current operating system is much newer than this one, so simply tap on quit. Do not worry because what we want to do here, we want to create the USB installation to install it somewhere else, okay? So the next thing we're going to be doing in here is we're going to minimize this, we're going to minimize this web page as well, and we'll minimize the app store as well. Next up, we need to connect the USB pen drive into our computer. Here we go, I've already connected my USB pen drive right here. So once you connect it, you're gonna open up this utility by tapping here at the top right corner at the spotlight search and then search for this utility, okay? Tap on enter. Now, what we're gonna be doing in here is basically formatting the disk. So make sure that you do not have any important information in your USB pen drive, okay? Because if you have important information, make sure you back up that information before formatting the disk. So over here at the left tab, you've got in here a section labeled as external. So down here, we've got the USB pen drive, which I have connected to my computer as an external pen drive, okay? So select the disk and then tap on erase right here and make sure that you've got the format set to macOS extended journaled, okay? Next up, simply tap on erase and the formatting process will start immediately. Just wait for a couple seconds and let the computer do its thing. Here we go, the process is now complete. Let me tap on done. Let me close this utility. And next up, we're gonna tap on the spotlight search once again, and we'll be searching for applications. Here we go, we've got applications folder right here. Let's double click on it. 
and we'll be brought to this window right here where we've got all apps installed to our MacBook device. Next up, we're going to be searching for install macOS Mojave, which is the software update that we've just downloaded. Tap on right click, tap on show package contents, open up contents, and then you're going to open up resources file. And then you're going to be searching for create install media file. Okay, so this is the file that you want to locate. So as of now, let's keep this folder aside. Let me just resize it a little bit so it doesn't occupy a lot of space. And then we're going to hop into the spotlight search once again, which is our best friend in today's video. And then we're going to search for terminal. Okay, here we go. We've got terminal. Simply tap on enter to launch the terminal which is where we're going to be performing all the magic. Once you're here on terminal, what you're going to be doing in here is simply type the following command carefully in the specific order that I'll be showing it to you. Okay. So this will be sudo space, and then you're going to select and drag the create install media all the way to the terminal in order to provide us the path. Here we go. Next up here on terminal, tap on dash dash volume space once again and then we'll be heading here to the finder once again and then we're going all the way to the usb drive which is right here okay tap on the right click and tap on showing and closing folder next up we're gonna select the usb pen drive in here and drag it all the way back to the terminal like this by tapping on right click here on top of the usb pen drive and selecting show and closing folder and then dragging it all the way to here will allow us to copy the path of the usb pen drive to the terminal which is exactly what we want to do next up we're good to go here on terminal we're going to tap on enter from our keyboard okay and then it's going to ask us to type in the password which we use to unlock our macbook users so simply type in your password real quick here we go. Once this is done, tap on enter and do not worry if the password is not visible while tapping in. That's for security purposes. The terminal doesn't show you the password being typed in. Next up, it's going to ask you whether you really want to continue with the installation process. Simply type in the letter Y and then tap on enter once again. And then the terminal will automatically start deleting your disk once again by formatting it. And then it will prepare your disk with the new installation operating system in order to turn it into a bootable installation disk. All you need to do now is just wait for a couple minutes and let your computer do its thing. Remember, this process can take 20 minutes all the way to 30 minutes. Let's just wait and relax. Here we go. The process is almost done and we're now running at 90%. Let's just wait for a couple more minutes. Here we go, we're now at 100% and we've got in here a few more messages such as making disk bootable and copying boot files. Let's just wait for a couple seconds and then boom, here we go, install media now available at volume install macOS Mojave. Hop into my finder, we can see that our disk has changed to install macOS Mojave and we've got the installation ready here to be installed in our computer. As you can see, it's ready. Of course, it will not work on this computer because I'm running a much newer operating system, but this should work on a computer which supports macOS Mojave. My computer won't support macOS Mojave right now. So now let's move into the installation process with our MacBook. In order for us to disconnect safely the disk from our computer, we'll simply tap here on eject. Okay, so simply tap here in order to safely eject the drive from our computer and then we'll be installing it as a fresh new operating system them in our computer. Simply tap here on force eject and here we go. Now let's move into the installation process. So here we go. The disk is now ready here with macOS Mojave and we're ready to go. Next up, we need to plug it in into our computer. Now make sure your computer is turned off. Okay. So once your computer is turned off, we're going to connect it into our computer. So in my case, since I don't have any USB port in here, I'll be using my USB hub or dock to connect my pen drive into my USB adapter in here. Now, depending on your USB, if you have a type C USB simply connected, if you have, for example, a MacBook that supports uh, USB A and if you have a USB A simply connected and it should work normally. Next up, we're going to turn on our computer by holding the option key in here. So we're going to tap on power and then press and hold the option key in here. So this is how it goes. Tap on power 
and then press and hold option here at the left inferior corner of your keyboard okay you'll hear the chime keep on pressing the option key and then you're gonna release it once you see this screen right here as you can see we've got in here a window that allows us to select from which disk we want to boot up and as you can see in here we've got install macOS Mojave so by using your keys here on your keyboard you want to make sure you go right okay left or right to move using the arrows in here go left install macOS Mojave and then tap on enter here on your keyboard now if you're running the latest Macs having the M chips for example if you have an M1 M2 or any MacBook that has came after the Intel Macs instead of pressing and holding the option key while turning on all you need to do to get to this screen right here is simply turn on by pressing and holding the power key for a few seconds so simply power it by pressing and holding it do not release the power key until you see the progress bar over there and then you'll be brought to the same screen in here okay that's only for m chip macbooks next up simply select install macOS mojave and the installation will start here on your computer in my case i won't be installing here on this computer but all you need to do is just tap on enter and the installation will start right now thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you find my content useful on youtube consider subscribing leave a comment down below and like the video if you have any doubt leave a comment down below and I'll help you fixing the problem. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you